Like I'm, I'm just owning up to it. I'm not gonna make like some bouldering excuse. Oh, I was out bouldering with my fucking ten year old or something. <laughs> fucking shit, ten month old. No, no, definitely fucked mm-hmm. up there. Definitely fucked up. Was a bad I, time. I, th- you know? I, I think yeah. you did. <laughs> definitely fucked up. Yeah, uh, you got a dog killed. Bit of a fuck up. Let's pull up the man of the hour. Oh, look at that. There he is, everybody. There he is. Look. It's Ian. Ian Miles Chong. Looking all happy there. He's a dangerous man. He's he's a very dangerous man who's who's done some some pretty gnarly shit. And oftentimes you probably just see him on the Twitter and you're just like, oh, who's this right wing dipshit? Uh ignore. But uh he's actually involved in some pretty dangerous shit. Some some very, very dangerous shit. Right, because right now we're looking at uh, you know COVID 2.0 basically, right? It's the same COVID; it hasn't gone away. Coronavirus is still here, and uh, you know a lot of people just you know it's going to get so bad. Like I'm looking at the statistics, and even in small places, small towns uh, like in Texas, and the numbers, the case numbers, are actually doubling. They're actually higher than the previous peak. So we're looking at a second peak that's even higher than before, and it's not even stopped, right? Uh, what this is going to, ha- what's going to happen is they're going to have mail-in ballots. The Democrats are going to insist on it. And mail-in ballots, you know, are infamously uh, known for, you know, for fraud, right? It allows yeah. a lot of fraud to happen. You know, we've seen a recent case in New Jersey where they did some mail-in Citation thing, needed. And Citation the, uh, needed. the people who received it were mostly Republicans found Citation that there were needed. no Republican candidates on their ballot, right? They were just given a, a, a sort of a misprint, which is ridiculous. How is there a misprint on a ballot? I mean, this stuff is supposed to be checked. It seems yeah. like they're trying to, you know, a uh, f- mess of the election here. So, well, if if there is a fair election, I think Donald Trump would still win because I just don't see Biden uh, taking 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 charge. I mean, the guy's senile. You know, he doesn't appear in public. He has been hiding in his uh, his for for weeks now, right? He comes out to his garden and does an interview once in a while, but he's not showing any real leadership. Meanwhile, Trump. Yeah. Meanwhile, I, I can't wait to hear. Meanwhile, Trump. What? Uh, how many people do you need to be dead? for you to realize that Trump has been pretty shit. It's out there giving speeches. And yeah, like the, the, the turnout the other day wasn't so good because uh, a lot of people uh, lied. Yo, they, they, swordfish, they, they, they fabricated you. their applications to go to the, uh, to the event on TikTok. There's trolling. Yeah, it was masterful trolling, but it needs yeah. to be illegal also because that is certainly uh, election manipulation, right? That that is that what they did there was it should be criminal. It probably is at some point, you know. But it's hard to uh, prosecute that many people, so I don't think they'll get in trouble for that. But yeah. these are the dirty tactics that the Democrats are using. Yeah, I mean, you, you spoke about Biden's cognitive decline. Now, in the last election, a lot of words were, I think, wasted and magazines across the country saying that Trump was in cognitive decline. Do you think we're also seeing yeah. the same sort of you know, tactics being used here? Um, I think Biden is genuinely, <laughs> like, he's got the early stages of dementia. He can't complete a full sentence. It's he, impossible but, to miss. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah you, you just have to be like a random person watching him. You don't even need to be shown in those specific clips. Just watch an interview with him. He yeah. loses his train of thought all the time. When he talks nonsense, you know, he'll suddenly uh, go off, veer off into some segue that no one even talked about, you know, like the whole hairy legs thing. And, and when he rubs oh. them, you know, kids rub them and he loves kids jumping on his lap. It's like, what does that have to do with anything? Honestly, yeah. it's so random. All right, let's look at what NPR says about mail-in voting. What does it say about fraud when it comes to mail-in ballots? Well, election experts say fraud and mail balloting is slightly more common than it is in in-person voting. It's still such a minuscule amount that it is not statistically meaningful. Amber McReynolds, is the former Colorado election official and now the CEO of National Vote at Home Institute and Charles Stewart, director of the MIT Election Data and Science Lab, recently put the numbers in context in an op-ed in The Hill titled, Let's Put the Vote in Mail Fraud Myth to Rest. Over the past 20 years, they write, more than 250 million ballots have been cast by mail nationwide, while there have, been, there have just been 143 criminal convictions for election fraud received by mail-in ballots. The average out to about one case per state every six or seven years. The fraud rate is zero. Point zero 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 six percent again zero point zero 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 six percent but yeah do go on um he like it may surprise no one to learn that uh he's full of shit uh, and he often just espouses shit but here's the thing when you have a massive platform like uh ian does uh just you know popping off 
uh, saying whatever you want uh, can have real-world consequences, depending on what you're doing. Are you just misconstruing, uh, misconstruing information in order to push a narrative? Are you intentionally doxing people? Are you intentionally putting people in danger? Now, he's got a history of this. Hey, Ian Miles Chung. You say lay off the coke? Well, I'm not on coke because I just, I just had two police officers, two detectives interrogate me and search my house. I allowed them to search my house, so they didn't find anything. Um, the information from the caller was information that you have. Uh, it's funny how you try to getting me pretty much arrested or, or worse, and you've done this before to Wild Goose, who you got his dog killed with a flashbang. Uh, luckily in Canada, they don't. Whoa. Uh, and yes, Andy Worski sucks. And this normally would just be a, a let them fight moment. Uh, you know, let them fight. Uh, but this shit is very, very, very dangerous. This this is showing a pattern. So thank you for for um, trying to ruin my life. Um, and it was it's pretty obvious it's you. You've done this many times to people. You've told me that you're fine with people being swatted or doxxed if you don't like them. So what, what do you want to know? Just ask me and I'll answer. So why did you dox Wild Goose to David Shitrat? Okay, so here's the thing. Um, just to clarify, it's I didn't do the research of the dox. It was given to me by some other people I don't really know to, about Sorry, Wild Goose, right? And it seems move. a little foolish. Bro. Honestly, it is yeah. stupid. Yeah, like, dude, I really wasn't thinking. You know, that was my bad. I really fucked up there. No, you weren't. Honestly, like I'm, I'm just owning up to it. I'm not gonna make like some bouldering excuse. Oh, I was out bouldering my fucking ten year old or something. <laughs> fucking shit, or ten month old. No, no, definitely mm -hmm. fucked up there. Definitely fucked up. Was a bad I, time. I, th you know? I, I think yeah. you did. <laughs> definitely fucked up. Yeah, uh, you got a dog killed. Bit of a fuck up. Totally yeah, I know. Totally, totally didn't deserve to to get flash banged and all that. Totally apologize for that. <laughs> didn't deserve to get flash banged. I apologize for that. You got his dog killed. You you murdered a puppy. Like what the fuck? Like, I, I don't understand how you didn't face any kind of like criminal repercussions for this. Like you're admitting, you're admitting to having done this, to to getting a guy's dog killed. Like like I said, I fucked up. I don't care. I fucked up there. I don't care. <laughs> you need Team Star. You join us. Uh, any any final questions, panel for. Uh, the kill stream just sounds like unbearable. I I don't know how people watch this for pleasure. Like I get it that they're they're you know far off in the different uh, ide ideological or political spectrum than than I am. But yeah, wow. But anyways, uh, the evidence being pretty striking, uh, admitting to the fact that yes, uh, I did an oopsie. You know, it's oopsie doopsie. You know, I got a dog killed. You know, bro fist. Now apparently I've gotten a dog flashbanged or something. That dog's name was Albert Einstein and everybody clapped. Like just sociopathy. All right, I'm going to skip to the the meat. So Ian Miles Chong almost got another man killed. Again, this is a regular thing for him.
Brooks, a father to two girls and a youth football coach, feared for his safety and his family's after being wrongfully accused on social media of ambushing two LA County Sheriff's deputies Saturday. Attorney Brian Dunn with the Cochrane firm. He has no connection whatsoever. Any person would uh, suffer greatly when falsely accused of a crime, especially a crime as heinous as this. As a manhunt was underway for the shooter seen in this video, social media posts with an unknown origin started circulating with Hicks' driver's license photo, address, license plate number, naming him as a possible suspect, calling him armed and dangerous. He started getting death threats. You know, I have two daughters, and I don't even feel safe taking them out no more now. He simply has been thrown into this pit for nothing other than the color of his skin. The sheriff's department initially described the shooter only as a dark-skinned male. After these posts surfaced, authorities tweeted, there's a social media post that is being circulated. This is erroneous information. There are no named or wanted suspects at the time. There was some uh, bad information that was floating around yesterday about a suspect and a photo and, and a vehicle and all that. All that information is false. Whoever keep framing me, making it seem like I shot two sheriffs, when I was out dirt biking all Saturday, come on now. There has been a complete blackout in terms of the information, where it has come from. No one has taken responsibility for it. I got my own clothing line. I do a lot of business on my own. And it's like people looking at me differently now. So when you have a case of mistaken identity, what if he would have been killed? What if somebody would have thought, a deputy or anyone would have thought that he was really the wanted suspect. For Hicks, the damage is done. I just want to send my prayer to the two deputies that was injured in Amen. this incident. I want them to know that I'm innocent and it don't have nothing to do with me. And for any other black man out there, just be aware because the description was a black male. So it could happen to anybody. And Hicks said one of the posters claimed that their account had been hacked. So messed up. Um, I think Rationality Disconnect was the one who broke the story, so I want to give him some props. Uh, and by the way, great job. Rationality Disconnect does an excellent job of just exposing all the worst right-wingers. So Ian Miles Chong is trying to look like an innocent person. Uh killed again heard in the grapevine the 33 year old uh, compton resident darnell hicks is the lsd number one suspect in the shooting of two deputies on saturday we'll post further confirmation once i get it uh, why, why not wait for that confirmation before posting this la county sheriff's office may be disputing the contents of this tweet uh jesus uh, however, more details on Hicks have gone viral on Facebook. I'll post further confirmation or details as I get them. Officially, no suspects have been named at this time. So fucking stop. Stop. Stop what you're doing. The, the LA County sheriffs are disputing you. Man falsely accused of ambushing LA deputies says he's receiving death threats. A California dad says he's received death threats after social media posts falsely identified him as a suspect in the weekend ambush shooting of two LA County sheriffs deputies, according to their new report. I question whether or not he would be the subject of jurisdiction in the U.S. court, but even if he has, you might have some difficulty enforcing U.S. judgment against Malaysian assets and assumes Ian has assets beyond his gaming chair. <laughs> it's true. Uh, I assume it would be really complicated, but if it could force Ian to waste money, it would be worth it. This shit is so dangerous, and I'm, like, I'm astounded. He's not only allowed to do this, but he's still, like, a verified checkmark on Twitter. Hey there, so I'm here to invite you to my small leftist Twitch channel, Political Perspective. Join us Wednesdays at 4.30 Pacific for Book Club. We are currently discussing The Conquest of Bread by... You all know who it's by. I don't need to tell you. But take a look up there. Look how much fun we're having talking about bread. Come join us in the chat and help us rain bread down upon the unsuspecting masses. On other days, I cover news stories and try to point out things like the shortcomings of capitalism to unsuspecting viewers. Also, look at those emotes. Awesome. Right? Lovable. Lovable emotes. Hey, we want a mutual aid you to get some eyeballs on your work. So if you have a leftist YouTube channel or Twitch stream or something you want us to advertise, just send us a 20 to 30 second ad using the forums at wearesurfs.com. We'll do our best to help you out. And please submit once per channel.
To our God, I'm Raf. We pray at your altar of greatness. To our monarch, Thomas Bone, you are the light that guides our path. To our lords, Jeffrey Lamb, Trevor R., Stephen, Nine Tails Cosmic Fox, Hans Josephin, and Poppy Nelson, we bow meekly for your pleasure. To our knights of the round table, Josh Mickelson, Dylan Bythe, Alexander Thaler, Zach Christensen, Todd Buckingham, Todd Lajeunesse, Clement Chetska, Sky Bear Games, Moss Beast, Political Puppy, Ali Menthol, Jimmy Big Nuts, Alan R, Andreas Chitoro, Good Poon Hates Cops, That Solid Poon Then, Dr. Zayas, Joppy, Radaclu, Violent Orchard, and Sophie Baby, we salute you. And to our many merchants and farmers, thank you. Fuck you, Lance.